Good evening, good evening, y'all. How y'all doing today? Red Beard Trucker. So this is the Amazon Relay app. I made a part one of this video. I decided to make a part two to show you a little bit more detailed description of the app, how it works and what you see. So what you see right here is the loads that I have for this specific day. Um, once you tap the location, it'll tell you if it's a empty or if it's a loaded trailer. Also give you the address and it give you the military time the time you're supposed to be there, the time you're supposed to pick up, and the EDT, which is the estimated departure time that you're supposed to leave. You pick up empty trailer or loaded trailer, it'll give you the description. As you can see right now, this is what you will see for your loads for that day. As you see, Connecticut, Boston, Montesboro, start my first shot in Baltimore and once you hit begin work it's going to ask you are you bringing back an empty trailer you always say no it says highlight it says no I don't know why they always ask that question are you bringing back an empty trailer you always put no and you see your first load it's Baltimore it says a pickup that means it's a load and it says 1900 which is 7 o'clock p.m. And all you gotta do is hit navigate. Once you hit navigate, once a different location, different things you can press. But see, once you hit navigate, it automatically navigates you to your location. And as you see, it says you're 49 miles away, and you will arrive at 8:59. It also tells you if it's if you're early or if you're late. So let's say you want to report a delay. You hit a reason. We want to say. Uh, we will just pick anything. They got all different things. Dispatch error, driver error, mechanical tractor, hours of service break, delay in loading, delay in unloading, or other. So once you do that, they ask you how long you're going to be. You put the time that you think you're going to be able to depart from that location for whatever the reason is. You hit submit and it goes to ROC, which is the support center of Amazon. Okay, so now we're going to go back and show you guys some other things. So this is the location you will go if you want to see if your dispatcher is booking any loads. He hasn't, I only have that load that I'm currently on. So next we're gonna go to get a pass. That's only for your courier that somebody else wanna put you on. Next, we're gonna go to history. It shows all the history of all the loads you've done for maybe I think it's two weeks. From the day that from the day that you're on your current load i think they keep it for maybe a week or two if i'm not mistaken maybe more maybe less but you can go back and see how many loads you've done where you've been it don't show you how much it is your dispatcher will show you that information but you can always go back and see all the places that you've been um, and all the loads that you've completed you can go into your history right there then next you go to your vehicles this is very important. You put your license plate in. You put the state in the tractor. You do that when you first get in your truck because when you first put up to Amazon location, they read your license plate. Sometimes they don't even want to read your uh, your V red. It's your, basically your barcode on your phone that pops up when you get to their location. Next, you can call the support center, which is ROC or Amazon. They can help you with any issue you have, with trailer issues, delay in loading, cancel loads, etc. That's who you will call. And it's basically giving you the, the conditions of use and additional terms, self-explanatory, and other miscellaneous things that if you want to report or ask questions about, not related to the job specifically. So then you can go to your driver's name, put your name in, you ask your driver's preference, class uh, CD you have, ask do you have any endorsements. And this would be your driver preferences. If you got any preferences, um, you like driving in a day or night, do you like driving with teams? Um, and just other miscellaneous things you don't have to do. You don't have to fit this part out. It's optional. 
Not sure if they really look at that or not, but they have it on the app, so just utilize it. Now we're going, going back over again, our loads for today. It's a two day run. And once you get to your location, and once you get checked in, it gives you a dock door. It's gonna ask you to put in the last four digits of the trailer. Now, I didn't have, I had a dock door, but um, I forgot what happened to the specific situation. I couldn't put the last four in. Um, these also show you at the top, you got cancel loads, tell you what time. It, they won't tell you what time it was canceled, but it tell you your cancel loads from where it was going, where it's picking up and where it was going. You see the green checks on the side. I mean, those are completed. And the ones that's not a green check, that means they're still active. This is the barcode that pops up when you pull up the Amazon location. Once you reach your destination, because the navigation is going to automatically detect that you've reached your destination at your arrival point. And this will pop up. They will ask you the last four this V-Ray, which is M, D, C, G. They can scan it, or they will ask you the last four digits of that. Sometimes they ask, sometimes they won't. As you see, I'm completed most of my tour. I have one last tour, which is in Staten Island. This is other tours I've had, which I call, they call them tours, or other loads. You can see that your dispatchers book you for that week. As you see, I have a few loads booked for this week. And they tell you the time that you will go out. Each one will tell you the time. You won't see no details of the load and where you got to go, where you're going until maybe, I think, 24 hours prior to you going out. Thank y'all for watching. I appreciate y'all.